What's up guys and welcome back for another Star Citizen video. In this one I want to be going over how I figure out the maximum amount of mass on a rock that I can attempt or when I'm like scanning rocks and I see some uh, a really big rock I'm, you know it has like an impossible rating or something like that. I like to I like to know why. Um, it also allows me to kind of you know make sure I can go after the right things. I usually mine at either the medium or the hard level of difficulty like really near my maximum uh, mass because it ends up being more stable and I have less um, less overcharges and stuff like that so for this video I am in a prospector with an impact one laser and then we're running a uh, rigor C2 and a focus 2 on this one so I'm just going to uh, kind of show you I did a spreadsheet there's a lot of tools online that um, the community have made but I, I hadn't for myself I hadn't particularly found anything that allowed me to plug in my power my fracture power and figure out what the maximum possibility of uh, the maximum mass that I could uh, reasonably uh, fracture so I kind of just uh, figured out the formula you know by doing research and kind of put together my own little like kind of calculator which I'll kind of walk you guys through the one thing you're going to want when calculating this is going to be your fracture power that can be seen here when you're in mining mode Let's see if i can pull down over here so down over here it says fracture power 108 for all intents and purposes for this video we're going to be using the 108 percent for our calculations here all right let's go ahead and get into this spreadsheet that i put together i'll try to walk you through the formula here so if you want to recreate this in a spreadsheet yourself to calculate your uh, your possible um, max mass, then you can do that. So this is the 108 percent that we saw in game. So we want to put that in there as a percentage. And then down here, I just have all the heads, their resistance modification, just for reference, and then also the their base power, the base max power actually, and that's what we're going to be using up here. Now to calculate the actual frac power here. We're going to be taking essentially the base max power and we're going to multiply it by what we saw in game, the 108, and that's going to give us our actual fracture power. Now, what that'll end up giving you is 11, about 11,000 max mass at zero resistance. And we're going to go ahead and kind of take this, we're going to half this uh, equation out here so you can kind of see what's going on here. So, what we're going to do here in this part is we're going to take the fracture power and we're going to divide it by 0 0.2 and that's what gets us our maximum the maximum amount of mass that we can fracture at zero percent resistance we're going to want to factor in the resistance for the rock so if we add like 30 percent resistance it's not going to affect it right now so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to take the uh max mass well first we're going to calculate one minus the resistance and then we're going to uh, times max mass by it, and that'll give us the max mass possible. So what I can do here is, I can go in here, I can add in this other bit right there. So this will calculate, and then this will calculate, and then they'll be multiplied together. So 100% minus the resistance we put in, which gives us our 70% of basically unfiltered power, unresisted power going to the rock. So go ahead and get that in there and then as you can see with and now at zero percent we're back into the 11,000 so if you did find a rock with this configuration you would have you could crack up to 11,000 but if you find like uh, that rock at 30 percent resistance you're going to want that mass to be around 7,900 for you even to be able to break it at all so that is actually um pretty interesting and this is kind of the calculators I was looking for online to like base on, you know, what my configuration was and how much mass I could actually go for. I like going for really close to my maximum mass on a rock because it allows for more stability. Now, to give you a little bit more perspective on this, my mole, the main laser on my mole, uses a Helix 2. So its base power is 4080. And then my um, fracture power percentage in game is 144. So. With that being said, at zero percent resistance, the mole can go up to twenty nine thousand mass, but at thirty percent resistance, it can only hit like twenty. If you find a fifty percent resistance rock, you can only go up to like fourteen k 
uh, and so forth. But I end up, I usually find anywhere between like 27 to 30 percent resistance on rocks. And the reason I like to try to go all the way up to my maximum mass possible is because usually the rock size is bigger, the uh, SCU is bigger, so I don't have to hunt for too many different targets um, to really get like a good, uh, to get a good like haul or whatever. So that's um, basically how I do it. Another thing I'll note here too is these don't actually stack. So like if you had a Helix 2 on every single laser of the mole and you put those la those uh, lasers on that rock, you're not going to get negative 90 or not, you're going to get negative 0.9. Um, what it ends up being is it ends up being like the first Helix 2 that goes on the rock, it'll drop it by 0.3, so 30%. The second Helix 2 that would go on that rock would bring it down to um, about 51% reduction. And then the third Helix 2 from that mole would bring it down to around 66% reduction on the resistance. Um, so those uh, that just kind of have a better way to look at that. Um, so if you try to stack lasers, um, you will have some uh, diminishing returns there and everything. But this is kind of the tool I use just when I'm out there mining. That way, it's very simple. I can put in my frag power in here. This um, the 08, uh, the eight percent on this uh, accounts for my rigor two and my focus two, and all of that. And then I just make sure I'm you know tracking the right uh, base max power for the head I'm using. And so this means that if I go out there and find a rock, I usually leave it at zero. Once I get a rock, I just look at the mass and then I look at the resistance. All I have to do in here is just kind of put in the resistance resistance I see on the rock. And then I, you know, check this mass against what's on the rock and it'll tell me if it's possible or how close off I am. Um, the game is going to tell you anyway. You put your laser on that rock or you scan it, it's going to say impossible. For me, I, I wanted to know why or how far off um, I was to being like a challenging or a hard or even a medium. So that's why I kind of put this together. So hopefully if you're, uh, if you're interested in like kind of tracking that yourself, hopefully this video have helped you uh kind of figure out the uh the math that kind of goes into kind of figuring it all out but thank you for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out